I'm sure you have a lot of things in your house that are either hidden in cupboards or drawers or your attic, your basement, um, even in plain sight in your house. Go look around and say, hey, am I using this? No, list on eBay. At least call guys, Cindy Krause with Krause House Sift and Thrift here. How's it going? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing fabulous. If you're new to my channel, I'm a reseller of 20 years. I mostly sell on eBay, but I've also sold items on Mercari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. Welcome to my channel. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate the views and the subscribes and the watches and the shares in the comments. So if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would. So today I wanted to talk to you about the money that's laying around in your house. <laughs> you know, we all have things. <laughs> some of us are minimalists, some of us are maximalists. <laughs> I'm more of a maximalist. I have a lot of things. So if you're just starting out on eBay or if you're a seasoned seller, you probably already know this, but highly recommend that you sell items around your house. I've been doing this since I've started on eBay. That's what I did to begin with. I just grabbed items I already had in my house that I wasn't using or I didn't mind selling. And so that's what I highly recommend and that's what I'm gonna tell you about today. I wanna give you ideas of what type of things that you can grab that are just sitting around your house. Of course, once you've exhausted all those things, Go ahead and go to your thrift store, yard sale, and that type of thing and start sourcing there. But it's always good to start at your home first. Think about it. This is a great business. You don't have to have any startup money. You just have to like use what you already have. I mean, that's amazing. There's not a lot of businesses out there where you don't have to put money into it. So eBay is just a wonderful, wonderful platform. I mean, I highly recommend it. I love it. This is the only job I've stuck with for 20 years, you guys. I've had many, many jobs because um, I'm administrative assistant. So I've worked in lots of offices. I'm 58, been working since I was 18. So uh, yeah, and I've worked in California and Oregon and Idaho and um, in various companies. Um, but, you know, sometimes I move on or I leave. I go to the next one because for whatever reason, sometimes it's getting bored, sometimes I wanna move on, whatever. But this job I've stuck with for 20 years and I'm really proud of that and I love this job. Do what you love. If you don't love selling on eBay, don't do it. It's for those that love it. There's lots of us who love it and we'll never give it up. We'll do it until we're dead in the ground. <laughs> I'll be a 98 year old reseller. I mean, I don't care, it's amazing. I mean, what other job can you do where you don't have to have any startup money? You could work from home, you could work in your pajamas. You don't have to go do deliveries. You don't have to go to an office. Yeah, you have to drive if you're gonna go sourcing, but that's the fun part, that's shopping. <laughs> so it's amazing, amazing business. I love it so much. And I highly recommend it to anybody who just wants a job to, you know, support their family, pay their bills, take vacations, um, you know, save your money. It's a really, really great business. Okay, now that I've talked up eBay, <laughs> I could show you what I found around my house to give you guys ideas what you could sell on eBay. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is purses. Most women have more than one purse. If you're like me, I'll get a purse and then I get tired of it, so I wanna get another one. And I get my purses mostly in thrift stores. I have got them at like Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I usually thrift them. And I'll, just like I thrift most of the things I have, um, my clothes, my shoes, my household items, 
knickknacks, whatever. So not only do I thrift for my business, I thrift for my life. And I highly recommend it to anybody. It's super addicting and super fun. So this purse I got, it doesn't have a brand name. I have a list on eBay for like 10 bucks. I used it for a while, about a year ago, and I got tired of it. Um, I will tell you that for me, colored purses do much better, like pink, green, blue, etc., purple. Um, I have sold a lot of black and brown purses as well. It has a lot to do with the, the brand and the style. And you know, if it just looks attractive, this looks like a really cool purse. In fact, this would be great for Easter. So yeah, ladies, look for purses. Obviously this won't work for the men, but men could sell things like wallets, um, and, you know, um, things like that. So purse. All right, shoes. These are loafers that I used to wear in the office, but now that I'm not working in an office, I don't need nice little shoes. I used to have a lot of these loafers. These are nice patent leather. I have them list on eBay. They are Echoes. Echoes are a very good brand. I mostly do well with men's, like Oxfords or loafers. I've sold a couple of those. Good money, like 25 to $35. These are just sitting there, and I think it's because they're women's, and they're more for office. I think the shoes I sold were more like everyday shoes for guys. So they'll sell eventually. I'm not worried about it. All right, office stuff. When John and I used to live in an Airbnb for a year, uh, that was a long story. We were supposed to only be there three months and then John got laid off due to COVID, so we were stuck there a year. <laughs> but um, anyway, he had a big desk and so I could put lots of things like this. It used to have a drawer, I'm missing it. I don't know where it went. And this is um, Rolodex, which is a good brand. Still has the sticker on it, so it's $3.99 still has this sticker on too so look around if you have office supplies some of them sit for me for a while it depends on what it is but you know people always need office supplies all right hats <laughs> i'm sure it doesn't look good I'm not a baseball cap person. I think somebody gave me this and I'm so sorry if you're watching. So sweet of you. Um, I'm not a hat person, a cap person. I had a girlfriend who loved hats and she wore them any chance she got, but I don't like them. I don't like the way they feel. I have a very sensitive head, so I don't like the way they feel on my head. And then if you take them off, your hair's a mess. John wears them like on days he doesn't shower and we go out. He just wants to put a cap on to hide his messy hair. But I get that and that's totally cool. It's just, not a hat person, but I sell a lot of caps, mostly sell caps for men, but I noticed that the caps for the women that do the best are like sparkly ones. Like I had a Maui cap that would have rhinestones. That one just sold a little while ago for 15 bucks. All right, I have this finial, but I think the maid is in storage in Portland. So I don't think a single one is gonna sell. This is for tie backs oh, for drapes. Yeah. I used to, have, you know, put it around here so it, it holds your drapes open. And they're really pretty, and this one's very nice. I th like I said, I, I think the mates in storage. Don't think anyone's going to want one finial, so I'll just uh, probably wait on that one. Well, then I will do my research. Always look up on eBay and Comp because you'd be surprised some things that will sell. I know I've been surprised a lot of times. All right, lunch bags, you guys. These are insulated lunch bags. I bought them for when I had a job and I took lunch every day, but I work from home, so I don't need them. And this is Rachel Ray's. That could be a good brand. So it's a little dirty, I noticed, on the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll Folex it. And if you guys know me and know my channel, you know I love Folex, the best stain remover ever. This one's Gaiam. And I just discovered this brand. It's a very good brand. I just sold something. I think it was like a tote bag or something. And these are insulated, by the way. So they're lunch bags. So um, I'm going to comp this out and list this. These haven't been listed yet. All right. So this fabulous thrift store I have around the, the block from me. And they do a lot of bags and boxes when you, you check out. But they have a lot of things like this that were donated to them and they use them like the things that I bought, like I bought a bunch of clothes and stuff. They just threw it in here. And I'm like, do you guys not know you have, these things are worth something that you're, you're giving your um, patrons? 
<laughs> um, they they gave me this of uh, Yves Saint Laurent, huge tote bag. It was leather and it had the tags on it. Sold that for 30 bucks on eBay. And that was just a free item they gave me to put the things I bought at their thrift store in. Wow, it's an amazing thrift store. I love that place. All right, betting you guys in drapery. Um, these are drapes I bought a while ago. I don't know if I used them, but I had them sitting around for a while. Get your drapes listed, get your bedding listed. Um, I, I package up everything. I recently, I know there's two schools of thought. Some people think you package up everything ahead of time so that way when you go to sell, you could just grab it and throw it in a, a box or a bag, whatever, and just slap a sticker on it, a label on it and get it out of here. Other people think you shouldn't box it up or bag it up ahead of time because if you end up donating the item, you'd have to take it out of the packaging. Well, I had to do that because my uh, women's and men's clothing were a mess. I was selling so many t-shirts and tops and pants and jackets listed that they were overflowing. So I had to bag them up individually and that padded them down. So they made lots more room for new items that are gonna go in there. And if I don't sell them eventually, I don't care. I'll take them out of the bag. So these are just bread bags I found at Walmart these shirt bags that I got on Amazon. I have two different sizes and you put the shirt, top, pants, skirt, whatever in here, bathing suit, pajamas. <laughs> the, um, it's endless what you can put in there. So anyway, you guys, drapes, curtains, bedding, sheets, that kind of thing. All right, John just pulled these out of our cabinet this morning. He's like, why did I buy these? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's lots of things around your house where you're like, why did I buy these? That's happened to me too. If you don't know, these are to, for picnics. When you go on picnics and you have those flat, uh, thin, flimsy paper plates, you put them on here and they make them more sturdy so they don't fly away and it kind of gives you a nice base for when you're eating. I don't know if these are worth anything on eBay, but I'll find out when I comp them out. But things like this, slippers. John was using these and I said, why don't you wear those? And he goes, because they slip off my feet. I go, well, give them to me. I'll sell them on eBay. They need to be cleaned up. I believe these were, these are these, were in a new package I was listing. I list them on eBay and he's like, I need slippers. So he took them out and then, then they ended up not fitting them right. So I'm like, oh, darn it. But um, they're actually only slightly used and I just have to clean them up a little bit. But slippers, those are a great thing to do. All right, free things. So tell everybody you know that you sell on eBay and they will give you free stuff. Like my parents, I go to their house and they know I'm a reseller. So they give me boxes and bags of clothing and household items they don't want. And I've sold several of them. This is a shirt my dad gave me. He no longer wants. It's a good brand. Ralph Lauren Polo, if you don't know, that's a good selling brand. Here's the little jockey guy on a horse it's just a striped shirt i think there might be some stains i've already washed it but i'll be checking it for stains and if there's just like one minor stain or a small hole i'll and if it's a good brand like that i'll list it anyway and i'll just disclose that in the listing all right these are blouses that i wore when i was working very nice or stretchy this is croft and barrow that's kind of a middle of the road brand it can be anywhere from 10 to 30 dollars um and actually this doesn't fit me, it's too big for me because I weighed more than that. So here's another one, another work blouse. I used to wear blouses like this all the time. Really stretchy and comfortable, really pretty. I don't know this brand, Briggs New York Petite. I doubt it's worth a lot, but if I get 10, 15 bucks, I'm happy with it. It's better than donating it. All right, here's some more bedding. It's actually not bedding, it's a tablecloth. John and I were renting a place with a really a round plastic table and it kept getting dirty. So I just bought, I went to Goodwill and I just bought a tablecloth, a round tablecloth. And I have this list on eBay. Um, probably not gonna get a lot. It's just Better Homes and Gardens is the brand and that's a pretty standard brand. That's okay. 10 bucks, I'll be happy with that. All right guys, throw pillows. So I kept buying pillows for our couch because I need the back support. 
and I'd buy them and I'd have to stack them on top of each other and then I wouldn't like them. They would get all slouchy and misshapen. And I finally found these two great pillows at a thrift store and they're really big pillows and they give you a lot of support when you sit down. So I listed about three pillows that I was using. This was one of them. It's a really pretty pillow. I'm sure this will sell at some point. And um, I sold another one. I just listed one and it sold like the next day for $15. So $14. But I that was on my couch and I was using it, but it wasn't I wasn't making the best use of it. So I'm happy that somebody wanted it. And these pillows don't have tags, you guys, so I don't whoops, just dropped it. So I don't know the um, brand name. But that's okay. Things unbranded sell all the time. These oops. These are two little prayer books I had I wasn't using. I lotted them up. I just put them in this little plastic bag. Um, when I have things that are lots, I either put them in the bag or the box um, or rubber band them because I have these plastic bins that I use to store my items and I don't want them to get lost when I go looking for it when it sells. Water bottles, Contigo is my favorite water bottle brand. Um, we used to use this for coffee. It's got the button so it opens up the... I've got four or five of these. I go to John. We don't need this many. And this one's in pretty good shape. It didn't have too many scratches on it. It's got fading on the bottom. But um, I just listed this and I already have a watcher on it. Okay, when John and I went to storage, these were in there. I used to use plastic water bottles, but my ice would melt all the time. And I finally discovered that those stainless steel water bottles are the way to go. They keep my ice in one piece most of the day. So I used to always constantly put putting more ice in these. And then I was so happy to discover the stainless steel ones that keep your ice intact for many hours. So, but people still use the plastic ones and this had like a cool wine theme. It's still wet, actually need to dry it. But I hope that helped you guys um, give you some ideas to look for around the house. I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of things in your house that are either hidden in cupboards or drawers, or your attic, your basement, um, even in plain sight in your house. Go look around and say, hey, am I using this? No, list on eBay. At least comp it out, even if it's five bucks. Um, when you're starting out, you're gonna need a lot of sales because eBay wants you to prove yourself before they release the payment to you. So if you have like 10, 15, five, $10 sales, hey, that's fine. Um, nowadays though, I don't um, sell anything for less than a $10, nine to $10 profit. You know, I've sold items for six or $7, but that's when it's been listed two or three years. And I just want to get rid of it. It's not worth much but usually I want at least a $10 profit. And that's what you should be aiming for. You shouldn't be selling these items for a dollar, or $4, $5, whatever. Aim for the $10 profit. Um, $10 is typically what my lowest items are for. Although that won't be a $10 profit. It'd be more like an $8 profit after eBay takes their fees, but I'm okay with that because they're what you call your bread and butter items. These are items that you know you could sell People want to pay a lower price for them so you can get them out of your store quickly and flip them quickly. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you like this kind of content. Let me know. Drop me a comment. Let me know if this is very helpful to you. I'm here to help you as the newbie reseller give you some ideas, tips, tricks, and topics so you could have a killer business. So hope you guys are having a great day. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, share comment. Um, I will talk to you next time. Take care. See you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.